Hello, I'm Rachel Larson from the Drupal Association. And today I've got some people uh, together who are going to be running and one of the initiative days at DrupalCon North America uh, coming up in second week in April. So I'd like to introduce them all. Uh, this is the team for an initiative called Decoupled Menus. And we have Theodore, we have Gabriel, we have Tara and we have Buddy. So hello everyone, how are you doing? Hello. Good, thank you. Hey, great. Um, so decoupled menus uh, will appear on Tuesday at DrupalCon. Uh, but what do we mean by this? I know it's the name of a strategic initiative, but can you tell us a little bit about, more about what that means, Theodore? Sure. So it comes from the fact that uh, Drupal is an old CMS or older CMS, uh, and we need to keep up to date uh, about the practice on the web uh, to make sure that we're still relevant uh, today. And this is the way uh, for us to start to bring Drupal into a new uh, kind of phase uh, where the front end is a bit more involved into, into uh, uh, the decision about uh, what to what to use to build websites. Uh, because usually it was backend developers that did that. Uh, now it's a bit more front-end developers that have some of uh, the decision making. Uh, so we need to make sure that we are a good fit for front-end developers and that Drupal is still relevant for front-end developers today to implement large-scale projects and smaller-scale projects as well. Yeah, absolutely. So that sounds great, but why is that important? Why is that important to the future of Drupal, Gabe? Yeah, so um, a lot of there's been a lot of excitement about decoupled Drupal uh, over the past few years. Uh, but what I've noticed is a trend to go towards more progressive decoupling, and people are giving up things when they decide to decouple or not dec decouple Drupal. Uh, they lose what they get kind of for free with uh, a more traditional architecture. So. What decouples menus is, is it's just pushing a snowball off a mountain. Menus themselves might not be um, the most exciting thing, but underneath there, there's tons to work on. We have to figure out how do you do routing in a decoupled architecture? How do you do URL aliases? Do you handle authentication? Things like that. Um, and then we're also establishing new patterns. So we um, have already made it possible to have projects on drupal.org uh, that aren't just Drupal modules. Um, so we can have standalone JavaScript packages, and those can even be part of and considered part of Drupal core, even though they don't live in the core code base. So what we're doing is we're establishing these patterns that are going to set us up for success uh, over the next decade. Um, and that's really exciting. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that would be great, actually. And yeah, as you say, there's so much in the background that has to take place to make that happen as well. Yeah. So. For the, uh, just thinking, people are going to come to DrupalCon on, on Tuesday, they will hear all, all about you talking about this in a keynote on the Tuesday morning, and there will be lots of sessions on the Tuesday around decoupled menus. What especially, what do you think people might learn at DrupalCon about your initiative? So I, I think first of all, people are going to learn what has been done. Mm. And uh, what has already like from the, the Drupal Association has also been helping a lot. Um, so I think that in the keynote, we are probably going to be talking about what has been done in the background and, and where where are we? You know, where, how far are we with the initiative or, you know, are we starting to think about the next things to be done or so that is what you're going to learn in the keynote. And we are hopefully going to have some cool sessions that are going to be supporting that maybe some use cases and uh, we've been doing these lightning talks if you haven't seen that yet go on our youtube channel decoupled many initiative where we have actually been trying to like talk about what is happening in decoupled drupal world so we are going to be going over that and then um, the idea is of course to see and test if this is actually working out so we are hoping that we are going to be that far that people can actually come and start to play around and create like javascript components and and you know play around and create uh, menus and uh, so the idea would be like to have a little hackathon or something like that we are just we are creating this idea now 
um, and hopefully going to be working then together with Tara and, and other from the mentoring team to see like if we can create like some kind of a cool uh, things to be doing on Tuesday and hopefully on the days after too. Oh, fantastic. So it sounds like you already have some ideas about how people can participate in the later parts of the day on Tuesday. So when we go into the second phase, into the contribution, um, that you will have some specific things that people can be doing. And I mean, Tara, you're, you're working as um, with the mentoring team to make sure that we're going to have some mentoring people to help with that and, and, and so on, yes? Yeah, so we'll have mentors on the day available, even if you've never contributed to Drupal, we can help you understand how the issue queue works, what the issue queue even is, if that word is not familiar to you. Um, and, you know, like Badi was saying, there's still kind of a lot being decided and, you know, work, work is actively happening. So we'll figure out as we get closer what exactly those tasks look like. Um, but we're probably, you know, we're going to need people with coding skills, uh, writing skills, testing skills, lots and lots of different kinds of people to come help make sure this decoupled Drupal is the way, you know, the way of the near future, not the far future. <laughs> it's very true, actually, as you say, we, we, we don't just need coders. And especially we do need all of those people who are going to help make it easy for the next people to come along. So those people who can write down in a really clear, clear way what the whole team are working on and producing so that someone can really easily build those components into the future. And yeah. not only that, but actually sell Drupal once we've made these amazing things. Yeah, we need yeah, all those so, people who can produce that. Exactly, so we did, a, we did a survey and it's just coming out now, hopefully in the beginning of March, the results of the survey, but we asked the community how they want, uh, what they are expecting and how they are using Drupal in a decoupled way today. Uh, what JavaScript frameworks are they using? And not just those who are using Drupal, but those who are actually building decoupled applications. We got like hundreds of, 100 plus, you know, we got like 150, I think, responses. Um, and one of the main things that people said there were they, they want to have code examples. So documentation, they want to have examples. So it would be great if we can have like people at DrupalCon helping us to create these code examples. So you can say like now, next time I'm building a Vue.js application and I can just go there and I can look at the example and I can know exactly how it is being done and I can just take it and, and, and take it further. So this is what the, the result of the survey said. That we want more code examples. We want more documentation of how to do decoupled applications. So that is definitely gonna be a big part of the Tuesday Wednesday contribution in in the, our initiative. Absolutely. I'm. Do you know what? I've been I've been listening to you all uh, telling us about this. I'm, I'm now. I'm really excited for uh, for DrupalCon on Tuesday. Uh, I hope that all of the other initiative teams that we come across next uh, will be equally inspiring, shall we say? So. Thank you. We'll catch up later in a few weeks and see how far you've got ready to be prepared. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.